welcome to a world of darkness. Or Elder Scrolls Online, because I finally got the wife to agree to play it with me, and right now she's doing errands. So, video for you guys. Uh, recently, we started playing Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited on the Xbox One. And I made a healer slash DPS slash tank character that's a Templar, and I wanted to make him a vampire. But a lot of the forum posts for this game are a year or two old from like 2014, 2015. And a lot of things have changed in the last year apparently in this game and I only started playing this week. My school is taking the whole week off for Thanksgiving and my whole family lives in the same town I do. So there's not, there's no traveling, no nothing for me. It's just me, the wife and my parents brother his fiance so we don't even we don't even know what we're doing yet it's it's that kind of fun it's great but vampire is fun um first off there are some things that most videos and forum posts will tell you and they are wrong um, first off, if you plan on being a vamp for life, don't go with savage feeding. All it does is when you go to feed on somebody and they get up and try and kill you, they'll be stunned for a couple of seconds. And if you feed to change your level or whatever, you really don't need to. So, um, that's the same, that's the same. Undeath has been changed, apparently, in the last year. Uh, it used to be the damage reduction cap was 50%. It is now 33, which, no offense, buffing your armor by a third more than what it was is still freaking great. Um, unnatural resistance is the same. Dark Stalker is the same. What has really changed... Okay, first off, your health regenerates 75% slower. This can be mitigated later on. Again, I'm a Templar. We're the only class that has their own healing uh, skill tree. So for me, I don't usually rely on my health restoring itself on its own. Also, there are gear sets and uh, passive abilities that will up your health regeneration, primarily through um, heavy armor, the restoration staff line. Uh, you take 25% more damage from fire. This used to be 50. And since pretty much every enemy in the game that uses an element uses fire, this was a major hit to your survivability. Uh, it is now 25% more, which is great. One fourth more, you, you can deal with. Uh, any kind of armor that protects you from fire damage, any kind of thing that protects you from magic will help alleviate this. So it's not so much a negative as it is just, oh look, there's, there's a fire breathing thingamawatsit over there. We should, we should probably avoid it until the wife is here because she's playing a dragon knight, so she'll be my tank. Um, your vampirism abilities cost 21% less and advance your stage. Now, your stage is usually based on a time limit kind of thing. So, again, you, you have to wait a couple of hours to go from stage 1 to stage 4. At stage 4, you are getting the most out of your cost reduction, but you're also, you've also got that health regen 75% slower. Um, at tier 3, it's only 50% slower, but there's a perk to help alleviate that, so... It used to be each stage reduced your vampirism cost by 20% each, so you flat out went 60. But I think people were really abusing its ultimate ability. If you play Destiny, it's a lot like a super. Uh two to five minutes and you get your super and in the vampire's case the super is this really cool circle of bats that can feed on people or turn you invisible and just overall ruin people's day um 
again, it is a really fun being able to be a vampire. Uh, you get Magicka regen speed, which is really cool. Uh, for my character, he's he's a high elf that I tried to make look more like a half high elf, half human. Uh, this outfit, if you ask, I bought it out of the crown store. It is the groom's wedding jacket, wedding coat, wedding attire. So, um, let's see. Come here, buddy. I won't bleed you. It stuns them. It, this, this will be probably one of my go-to damage spells, because I just used it once and it did that kind of damage. I mean, my normal weapons, my normal spells do that kind of damage as well, but... Vampire. Are, are we gonna... Are we gonna say no to that? Yeah, it does about as much as my weapon does, so... Being able to bleed them and gain 20% of my health for every tick I do to them is pretty cool. Um... Again, I'm only like level 9, 10, so me and the wife haven't really done a whole heck of a lot yet. But th this game is really fun. So I hope you, if you get it, enjoy it, play it. Uh, Black Friday's coming up. The game is free, so there is no subscription fee. If you are going to get the game and you are debating on whether or not you want to subscribe... Uh, subscribing gets you every single DLC. You get 15 bucks worth of free game currency. 10% uh, boost to all your experience gains. This includes um, all the crafting trees, which is pretty cool. I decide against it just because I don't mind grinding. Like here, I'm just doing some grindy stuff. To get vampirism, I had to go halfway across the country, so I, I gained a level, and I don't want to fight much more with you guys around, because my wife might get mad at me for, you know, playing without her, since this is kind of our thing right now. But we also have Pokemon out, so... Alright, guys, um... I guess that's mostly it, so... Lights out. Ha, 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 ha.